wonder on how the spiritual realm created the living realm and what their intentions were and why they did it? Well, I can give you an example of what I think they went through and the reasons why they created the living world and for the spirits to inhabit this world. One day, these spirits were being bored of uh, being powerful and uh, one spirit all of a sudden just, oh, wait a minute, uh, oh, oh, I got it, I got it, guys. Listen to this, we create a living world, a simulation, if you will. We inhabit these bodies in this world, right? And we have limits and boundaries, because we know that spirits don't have no limits and boundaries. So we have limits and boundaries, but get this, you become sick, you can get hurt easily, you go through social and psychological problems, you have internal turmoil, and, and get this guys, oh you're gonna love it guys, you can't be as powerful as you were when you're a spirit, so what you gotta do? Spend five fucking years of your life living in the simulation, trying to align your goddamn chakras, trying to trying to meditate on your ass to do what? Slide an upright cup on a damn table. Woo, man, that's fantastic. Sliding an upright motherfucking cup on the table. And what? And then what you gotta do? Spend another five fucking years so you can so you can slide two cups on a goddamn table. Ten motherfucking years of your life. And then what do you do? So you can live a nice, peaceful life, eat some feeble ass, drink some feeble ass uh, wheat grass, and get some sea salt and some other bullshit, and go outside and stand in the damn sun. Man, this virtual simulation world is gonna be the shit. And with all the infinite knowledge that the spirit world and the universe has, we have to reincarnate just to relearn how to smell shit. Smell that shit, just to smell shit again. How to relearn how what it smells to smell shit. Smelling a goddamn rotten ass damn corpse, rot rotting a damn sun, running in the damn sun, sweating your ass off, smelling your own damn shit when you take a shit in the damn shit. Smelling shit. Oh man, isn't that motherfucking fantastic? Even with the vast motherfucking billions and trillions and gazillion years of vast library that the spiritual world and the universe has, you have to reincarnate just so you can smell motherfucking shit. Smelling shit. That's what it is. Isn't that motherfucking fantastic? And get this. Oh, <laughs> get this, man. Get this. And when you die, you're gonna be traumatized. Ooh, you're gonna be traumatized even as a spirit and you gotta go through motherfucking spiritual counseling and, and spiritual therapy even when you're a goddamn spirit and you're gonna have guilt of the things that you've done because you're gonna see a life review flash before your eyes you're gonna see what you did to your cat you're gonna see what you did to you to your friends uh, doll and it's all just to fuck around and just play games isn't that fantastic huh what do you guys think let's take a vote and that is how the spirit decided to create the living realm simulation world.